Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where again this might not actually be a new episode it might just be a continuation so I'm gonna pause for a second <laughs> just in case. There's that. Um, I, I have been bothering my friends because I'm like guys I don't know what to do I keep getting like I keep hitting a wall and they're like laughing at me because they're like my story isn't anything like yours because i'm like i went here and got my ass handed to me and i went here and i got my butt handed to me and i went over here and got my butt handed to me and i still can't get to carlac and, and i'm sad and my friend said for one thing i was like oh shoot maybe i could have jumped across that something i could have done jumped across the bridge but she said you could jump across the stream and she showed me on the map she gave me a little path i could follow but since we're here, I am gonna try and Anything of use? deal with this. I'm worried about being in difficult terrain, though. I don't want. This feels like The Witcher. I don't know. Hiss, <laughs> rabbit, ribbit, hiss. That sounds scary. Um, oh, apples. Sleight of hand successful. What? Why did I do sleight of hand? What? Why is this glowing weirdly? Hey, I have talk to animals on. Talk to I try. Bring these shallow water. Bring oh. these shallow water. Are you okay? What is this place? Why is it covered by an illusion? What are you croaking on about? A chill Sounds like she's in pain. Yeah. There's something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. Burn! Please! Kill! Um, don't turn it into anything. What's wrong? What is it? Uh, perhaps I should go. I'm sad. Uh, I'm freaked out. Also, I am sad and freaked out. Green leaves. Shallow water. I wonder if I walk over to this chest and something will eat me. This is like, yeah, that part in The Witcher towards the be- Meh? Towards the beginning. Where, um... You have to, like, wander through a swamp. And, uh... It's, it's less than ideal. There's a bunch of, like, undead things. Oh, hey, a ladder. Or upstairs, rather. There's a out oh, there's the spooky lady house. Okay, hang on, I gotta stay with my people. So nothing untoward happens. That's definitely the witch's hut over there. With a nice little bone thing going on outside. Seems simple enough. Oh well. Magic cursed. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Yeah. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. I think the sister's dead. Drink from the well, absolutely not. Absolutely freaking lutely not. Are you crazy? Is this gang crazy? Listen, I'm trying to play this like a reasonable person. Sometimes you do just poke things because you know. Oh, hang on. Can I? No, I can't. Because, you know, you're like, oh, it's a video game. Might as well see what happens. I ain't, I ain't drinking out of a flesh well. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. She's pregnant? If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. 
You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Why is this a scary? Why is this a scary fairy tale all of a sudden? Oh my gosh. Uh, you might, you get no apology from me. I maybe I don't know. I'm I'm a paladin. Like normally I'd be like, I don't know. Yeah, you'll get I do no. like the melty ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Oh no! God's grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Um, that's Marina. Where My are her brothers? You saw them. They stopped by to pass on their congratulations. Said they'll be waiting for you at home. Uh oh, but why didn't they come in to see me? All they left was a message, which I passed on, didn't I? Don't be stressing. She's and a big liar. Gosh, don't be upsetting the girl with such things. What have you done to her? Um, answer the question. Where are her the brothers? Cheeky thing. Sutton Farm, north of Baldur's Gate. Check if you like. But I think you have bigger problems. Yeah, scary witch ladies in the woods, in the swamp. In your brain juice is a yeah. inconvenience, isn't it? How did she? Yeah, how did you know? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could <gasps> no. turn just like that. What do you say? No. Want me to take care of the little bugger? No. I know a devil that's offered to remove a it. Devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. Yeah, but what are you gonna take in return? I'll take my chances on my own. Good luck with that. But don't you fret, Petal. I'm sure you'll make a very pretty mind flare. Thank you. Uh, no, um, this is spooky. Oh, also, no, I, I would normally maybe... What? What? What did you do? I said I would normally, um... Try to like schmooze her and be like, you know, oh, hey, how can you help me? But no, I'm a paladin, so I'm not gonna do this honorable thing. Lady, what did you. I was gonna go talk to her. Where did she go? Did she leave? No, I she's right there. Word. Yeah, uh, talk to me, Grandma. Hello, uh oh. Sweetness. Uh, there's what an illusion. Want me to take care of the little bugger? What happened to Marina? Did you do something to her? Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Well, I feel like she implanted something in her, and it's going to grow into a monster. <sighs> I don't want to trade with her either. Uh, secret passage. Where's the... Where is it? I can't. I'm gonna steal your plants. Mistress of the night and friends. There was once a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. More, her suitors stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, she whispered. Shar whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you, none but I. The woman spoke to Shar, who listened. She prayed to Shar, who answered. And for the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shar asked her to take a vial, a small vial, an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shar to love her. She wanted to be proud of her. Then people became sick. People died. But Shar loved her, and the woman loved Shar. Now women and men alike travel across the land to see her, not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is a high priestess of Shar, and her word is law. Are you a high priestess of Shar? Is that a story about you? Taking your, your behavior Oops. has caused upset. I didn't. Our fight uh. is unavoidable. 
I like how she puts up her fisticuffs. Uh, oh my gosh, she is an actual hag. I can knock out or flee from a temporary hostile entity and return later that might resent you but will not be actively hostile. She was an actual hag. Look, is there... Um, listen, I don't want to go all the way back. But I think she's going to kick my booty. Oh no. Yeah, she's going to kick my butt. Oh my gosh, and she just keeps adding... <sighs> Fine, that was an accident. I didn't mean to. <sighs> okay, well this time around my characters went this way and they discovered a waypoint. At the Riverside Tea House? There is a tea house over there? It's not this. This is the witch's house. The heck? Yeah. Oh! All those are birds stuck in a spider web. Yee. This is totally like. I mean, I'm frustrated that I keep redoing this, but this is totally the spooky swamp forest from a fairy tale, and I really love it. Like, this is the vibes. The vibes are spot on. Oh! This is the passage. Okay, hang on. She was not happy with us. Commence battle. I thought she might not like that. Well, I was able to put the fire out so we could go over there, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We couldn't even, The minotaurs were like 80 health, and we weren't gonna kill those either. I don't know, I keep feeling like I'm running into quests and then running away from them because I'm not I'm not high enough level for them. I was hoping the starting area wouldn't, you know, kick my teeth in all the time. Oh, is that one of the brothers? These two won't be helping their sister. <clears throat> or doing anything else for that matter. Be ready. What? Whoever or whatever did this could be close. These two won't be helping their sister who? What? I only see one living man. I don't see... I don't see any evidence of the brothers being dead. One was kind of a pink-haired guy. I don't... I don't ah, know. A fellow wanderer. Forgive the air. Aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. To keep witches I'm off you? I am vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Ranger man. <sighs> Who are Today, you? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. I'm also curious if she if that woman actually is a high priestess of Shar, like why didn't um our Shar cleric notice anything? Um not much of a bargain, she made an True. offer I refused. Then you know what she is, what she can do. You're wise to walk away, but I cannot. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Um... I'd like to ask that. Well, okay, let's we'll do the paladin thing. I'd advise against helping such a creature thrive. What quarry could be worth Truth that price? Like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Are you threatening me? Uh, maybe I can help with your hunt, I guess? 
Oh yeah, this is a high one. Nope. Okay, well, good luck, I guess. A kind offer. But to accept it would be no kindness at all, I assure you. Besides, I must survive. Oh, I don't mind. House. One terror at a time. Hmm? Just keep hitting brick walls everywhere I go. Oh, are these the brothers down here? Open up. Can't I read it? Nope, apparently not. Okay. There's the other brother. Read it now that I have it. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad, I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. He'll be back soon. It's not a word to ma'am, all right? She has enough on her plate. So now all her children are dead because they're idiots and this is a fairy tale. And there's nothing I can do. So I'm going to leave. <laughs> Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Oh. Well, I'm clicking on this well in the Blighted Town because I was like, well, I clicked on the other well, but that was a spooky witch's well. But this is a normal well in a Blighted Town. I'm gonna investigate. Yay, I did it. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Throw a coin. I'm gonna now I'm gonna climb down there. Better be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Okay. Cool. Uh okay. Okay, what? Okay, there's a, <gasps> there's a whole place. To, why what why is there a whole entire living just why is, there, why is there a whole area down here? And why do all the wells have carcasses at the bottom? Something didn't like that. Uh, there's spiders. I hear them. Oh, wait, wait. There's a chest over there. There's a whole living space under here. It's got firewood and everything. Viscera, gross. A bloody journal. Yes, I hear you, spiders. Ritual diagram. Burnt journal. Let's look at this. Read. Most of this book pages have been carefully burned away. Those that remain contain a single sentence rewritten in varying stages of ag agitation. In her form, I find ecstasy. The spell is not enough. Eh. It's always got to be cryptic. A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of fighters and various spell rooms. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky coin. They can sense my devotion. It draws them near. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the dark mother. I woke to a gift wrapped in spider silk, a pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Loth sends her daughters to reward my faith to know to let me know I'm on the right path. Another gift, the corpse of a drow still scarred across his face. An arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. So this would be super spooky for my character because she is not a wolf drow and she is like spooked. I wish to pick it up. Okay, so you can't I thought thought if they wouldn't pick it up automatically that you couldn't pick it up. No traps, please. That's good enough. An ornate diagram, diagram is drawn upon the parchment, depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched with overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them, transcendence. So there's gonna be like a big spider elf down here. <gasps> oh my 
my gosh, I almost didn't look at these. Sweet. Hello, spiders. Okay, well, you know, it's good to know that this is under here. But, uh... I'm leaving. Yeah, we do not touch, and unless there's somebody wiggling, then we have to save them. Eesh! An edder cap! Oh my gosh, this is wild! I wish there was like a bestiary. I would love to collect bestiary. Uh. What do you call it? Bestiary, um. Entries. But holy cow, apparently you can get to the Underdark quite easily. I thought the Underdark would be like way further underground. Because, like, you know people on the surface mine and stuff and I didn't think they would encounter issues with underground under under dark things unless they were much deeper apparently not I should <laughs> they freaking they're well that doesn't make any sense either why the well opens up this is such a large cavern unless it's like a super old well that used to be like a thousand years ago full of water and the water's just like drained away over the centuries but like <laughs> That's wild. Oh, you hear that outside? That's Crimeville. Crimeville's, uh... Crimeville's activated. And these three aren't so chatty anymore. My gosh. Oh my gosh, and look! Apparently there's a way to... There's no way to climb down here, but apparently there's a way to climb up. I guess you could, like, feather fall. I don't have feather fall yet. Come along, my friends. Come along. Yeah. Okay, I was like, who's making that big noise? But that's just us. <gasps> There's gnolls then. Because gnolls and hyenas are... They're... They're usually together. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Severed hand. I can just pick up a severed hand. That's horrible. Okay, come on. Come on. You guys, let's have a little fight. Oh no, I can talk. We can talk. I can talk to the hyenas. The creature's eyes roll back in its head. Equal parts bliss and agony. She deep. I clicked on the dead feasted, body. And yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come! See! My flesh becomes new flesh! Eesh. Is she gonna become a gnoll? You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Hyenas are one of my favorites. You. That stench um. wasn't the dead. You can sense that the hyena's very flesh is desecrated. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Okay. I will try to bless the hyena, I think. Because hyenas are actually one of my favorite animals. I think they're really, really cool. And, uh, and they are very interesting looking, and I think I just really like them. And so I've actually always wanted to play a knoll. And I know some series, some game, some there's somewhere you can play that. There's like a playable knoll, um, and it's kind of like how they kind of retcon like the orc and the drow a little bit, where it's like some of them manage to shake free of their god's influence because the knoll god is like super evil, um, like the god, the god who made them. Okay, B bless the hyena trying to purge the body, her body of evil. Gimme, yeah, gimme. I don't want the poor thing to suffer more than she has. And I gotta get some use out of being a paladin. starts to calm to stop its wild contortions. She lies still. I'm also a nature paladin, so I would try to help her. 
flesh inside is dead. Murderer! As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Yeah, I don't think she'd necessarily thank me for it, but... But here we are. Oh no. Okay, we gotta kill the bloated ones. Oh no. Finding my way. Oh, I hope killing it, though, doesn't make a knoll pop out. Uh, don't pop out a knoll, don't pop out a knoll. You, she missed a down target? Did she roll a crit fail? Watch it, the hyena's going for help. Yeah, well, I'm worried about the bloated ones. Oh, you mean that one up there? <clears throat> well, I'll get as far as I can towards it. Oh no. Ouch. Oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no way I can beat all these. See, this is why I tried to kill them. Well, died again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but every step I take, I can't I can't seem to complete a quest. All right, since he didn't really explain it before and just assumed I knew what it was, I since I died and went back to this point, I thought I'd actually get a clearer answer out of him. A powerful friend. A terrible foe. That, I cannot decide. And he's still not being clear. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. Or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Oh, this time I succeeded. In persuading him to let me help him. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> gate alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna bypass that. My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. Yeah. In the chaos of battle, <laughs> one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? Yikes. Um... Jeez. Uh, I mean, I don't want to just throw him to the wolves because he's technically a companion. I haven't even had a chance to talk to him because I can't go to sleep. Oh man, I wish I had him here with me. Oh, that would be interesting. We've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You do know him. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. I honestly don't know where he is. That's a lie, though. Yeah, I don't want I mean, I kind of want to tell him because it's like a good I, you know, it could be a good idea. 
But I don't want to just lose him. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you. Astarian has quite the friend in you. I'll make sure he knows that at the end. Well, somebody disapproved. We learned that he's a vampire. Blah, 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 blah. I need. We need to sleep. We need to. Can I just go to camp? Will I not? Like, will this trigger? Nope. Okay, it does not trigger. But well. we need to talk. You know, I've been thinking, and I think there's something I should tell yeah. you. Yeah. Nothing big or terrible. Just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a... Uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> I mean, he's got pointy teeth. Well, yes, obviously. Right. Well... Glad we got that out of the way. So, was there anything else? I am curious about the walking in the sun. I don't know if that's a thing in this universe or not. I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He was a girl. I don't know who the girl is. Uh, he wanted to capture you. It was good, no. Yeah. Grandor. A girl? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Cazador. <laughs> of course he'd send a girl to hunt me down. Uh, Hunter said you were... I know, I was so special about the girl people. Yeah, I don't know. It's... Nothing. Oh my gosh, people. <laughs> They're not special. They're just easy to buy and morally vacuous. Perfect lackeys. But why send anyone after me? I'll be a threat out here. He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Maybe he wants to make an example of me. To show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Sounds like he won't let you go easily. Should I be concerned? We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. And kill any monster hunters on sight. Why? We can probably make an exception for Will. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we can... <laughs> oh, okay. I... This is a... Like, I, what I wanted is an explanation for... Did he actually do what he's being accused of doing? Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Oh, come on. <sighs> Sorry. But Fine. I prefer groups that are a little smaller, more intimate. Mm -hmm. Lose a follower or two, and I might consider it. I'm gonna bring you back out and show you to that guy and see what happens. Uh, Volo is talking to Will. Also, I just really love how everybody's like set up within their own little camp. Are we gonna talk? Ah, oh, my good fellow. <laughs> Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flayers? Why, I'm practically an expert. I trust nothing. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, and they're parasites? Do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? I have one in my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? Oh, ridiculous. Hmm. 
Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Does his face not look very unhappy? Um, examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. What? What's he gonna examine? My brain? If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! Can you see it? Uh, can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I would be so surprised. I'll need to research the particulars, however. I don't trust him. <laughs> Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Little issue. Will is inspired? Why? Oh, because I saved him? Oh, because I saved him. Okay, because I, because I saved Volo. It's very easy. Uncommon light armor. And I'm afraid we'll have to cut it off there, but believe me when I say that the next episode is jam-packed <laughs> with a lot of things. There's a lot of setup going on in this one, and there's a lack of a lot that goes down in the next one. But... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including Adam and Fane. Thank you so much for supporting me at the Acorn tier. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate it very much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it, and I just hope you're having a great day. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron. I hope you're doing very well. I hope you're doing super tastic well. You have gone above and beyond in your support of me in the channel, especially by supporting at the uh, forest tier patron. So I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you all had I had a good time watching this video and I'm gonna sign off now and hopefully see you in the next one.